Hi, it's John here for Bees TV. Hi, Bees. That was more like it. That was um, that was a great performance all round. Beautiful. Um, thought it started a bit tentatively, um, kind of feeling our way into the game, which is fine. You know, we kind of um, we kept possession well. Um, good goal from Rico. I think the keeper was a bit unsighted, but it's a good hit, and I'm, you know, really happy for him. He, he doesn't get many, but you know, he, they seem to be um, screamers when he does. And um, then the second goal was beautiful. I thought, you know, great uh, turn and pass from De Silva, fantastic pass of the game from Canos. Brian, real strength and calmness. Yeah, you know, and then Ivan Tony making the, you know, the, being in the right place, making the right run, you know, may have gone in without his touch, but um, brilliant. Uh, and then I think second half, I was the most impressive part of that game, I thought, was the way we started the second half. It was like, yeah, it was like um, Thomas had said to them, you know, go out there as if it's nil-nil because they, they, they worked even harder for that first 10 minutes just to nullify that, you know, initial kind of, comeback um possible comeback you know that we've we've suffered with this season um from winning positions and i thought you know what that first 10 minutes was really good and um really happy for sergi to get a good game 90 minutes you know he it, it again started like he was a little low on confidence and um but you know it really he really grew into the game and I thought, you know, it was great. I, I want him to do, bad, you know, well so badly. You know what I mean? I love him. You know, he's, he's Brentford through and through. I know he's given a lot of stick. You know, I've criticised him a bit, you know, in, in, the, in the sense that I think he's low on confidence, you know. And I suppose most of the criticism has come at Thomas Frank for, for playing him. But, you know, if it proves, you know, that, playing him through this lack of confidence, you know, and then he starts to kind of play through it and, and then we start to get what we saw in the second half then. When when the game's stretched and Sergi can be an option out wide and always kind of, you know, run at defenders, tire them out, you know, his passing was much better. He put one on an absolute plate for Mark Hondes. I can't believe he didn't score that. Um and yeah, his crossing and and interplay was, was much better. And um, you know, I was great. You know, I was, I was really pleased for him. I thought uh, Yanel was excellent again. Um, he he had a few a few times at the start of the game where he, his touch sort of evaded him, and he looked a little bit like under pressure because they were they were targeting him. I thought Luton was sort of targeting him with it, targeting him with their press, but he went on to have an outstanding game. Um, Rico, eight or nine out of ten, as always, nearly always. Henrik was good. Um, I, some of Ivan Tony's flicks and and touches, and you know, bringing people into play is just magnificent. Um, yeah, he just yeah, he's obviously high on confidence, and 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 um, you know, it's showing. And and um, long may, may that continue. But then Marcus Force, like you know, on his heels, like what a finish! You know, first touch in the game. And I said it before, you know, you always back him. You know, when you see him in the penalty area with, with you know, a sight of goal, you just back him to score. And he, he just did it first touch, you know. Great ball through from Jensen. Um, and, you know, dinks it over the keeper. He's just ice cool. You know, what a, what a finisher. Um, you know, I expect both of those players, you know, to get, you know, a lot of goals this season if they stay fit. Um, they already have, you know what I mean? But you just think, you know, if they stay fit for the whole season, how many they could score between them. Um, so, yeah, really happy with that performance. You know, I'm glad, I'm really glad, you know, because obviously the um, the team selection caused some controversy. And, uh, you know, I read an article about substitutions and about, um, you know, fitness and, and, you know, injury levels and, you know, or when, when players are more likely to get injuries in that last 15 minutes of the game and, and that sort of, you know, it was good to get that perspective and I sort of understood a bit better, you know, the substitutions from Tuesday night versus Norwich. But saying that, then, to still, you know, clearly everyone could see that, you know, that, 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 taking 
De Silva, De Silva, by the way, I mean, you know, what a performance again. You know, just he just gets better and better. He's so good. And um, and on Tuesday, you know, him him being taken off could well have cost us the game. You know, it just felt like you know it was the it was the turning point. And um, because he was bringing us up the pitch. And, and then I read the article and I thought, you know, okay, you know, if he, it's better it's better to lose two points against Norwich and him not get injured. Um, if that's the kind of science behind it, and you know, but then he played ninety minutes today, so you know, that kind of you know that confused me a little bit. But I'm not you know I'm not in a mood to complain about that performance or selection. I mean you know I'm, what my point initial point was you know the team selection you know that the overreaction from some fans is just ridiculous. You know I, if if we don't win this game that selection then Frank's got you know he's got to get the sack. I mean get a life man. Like what you know he took us to our third to to third last year, our highest position in my lifetime. He's got the highest win ratio of any manager that's it's managed over 100 games. Like, what, what do you want? You know, what do you expect? Just a 4 0 win every week? Like, I just cannot understand. I can understand, you know, everyone's got opinions. I've got opinions. You know, we've got opinions about players and, and, and formations and, and, you know, everything else. And, you know, I don't agree with everything he does. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, my point is, I'm really glad that he, he got proved right tonight with, that, with the team selection. Um, Marcondes, you know, he, I mean, he's clearly talented, but you know, I think we've got to rotate the squad. I, yeah, you know, I think he's the main disappointment at the moment for me, just not being involved enough. And, and when he does, you know, sometimes I said it before, the the ball looks like a hot potato when it comes to him, and I just don't know why because he's a very skillful player with a great touch, but he just seems to uh, like want to get rid of it sometimes, and then other times, you know. He, he kind of um, he wastes opportunities and stuff, and it, and more more frustrating with him is that he's just not involved as as much. You know, you see like how I don't know, you know, how many touches or how much involvement De Silva has compared to Marcondes in a game when they're literally playing in the same position, even though it's opposite sides of the pitch. You know, it's telling. Sometimes you don't hear his name for ages, and you think, oh, I've forgotten he was playing. But you know, we won three 0 so. Um, some minor minor kind of worries really and um the games just keep coming thick and fast and now you know we've re we've rested Jensen we've rested um Godos um you know and and yeah it's a tough game on Tuesday on yeah on Tuesday at um Lionel Road with Swansea um they're playing well doing well um I'd like to get another one over Cooper. He's not, I'm not a fan of him. I, you know, he, he pissed me off in the playoffs. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we can continue. I think you know, I've been saying we need back-to-back -back wins, you know, because then the Norwich result doesn't look too bad. You know, when you get it's when we sort of lose one, draw one, win one, lose one. You know, then those those two points lost against Norwich looks like a you know it looks like a, a bad result. Where actually, if we win, you know, if we beat Swansea. Then you think, okay, you know, seven points out of those three games is a decent, um, is a decent haul, and um, yeah, so very happy tonight. That's that's made my day and my weekends. Come on, you bees.